Hello, this is William Longfellow back here on Lesson 6 of Pilot Wings for the Super Nintendo. Now, on the last episode, we had snow, so naturally, we have rain this time, and it makes the runway very slick, which basically means you have to land on it early, and you have to break pretty quickly, otherwise you'll sort of slide off the other end and not earn very many points at all. But we won't be starting with a light plane, we'll be starting as before with the skydiving. And I'll be going for full points on this one. Now, it isn't as easy as the one with Tony. Because, well, you can't just fall through the rings without pressing any buttons. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm lining myself up with the wind. That way, I don't have to move too much to get through each of the rings. From now on, I should only have to press up and down to pass each of the rings. There we go. And that makes it look a lot easier than it is. If you don't line yourself up with the wind, well, you'll be flopping all over the place. And it is possible to pass all five rings while doing that, but it's rather uncomfortable. And here I'm going for the middle square. All these squares are the same size, so actually I don't really get why Pilot Wings makes them worth different amounts. But the trick here is you have to land in the green part of this square, otherwise you'll only earn 20 points for accuracy. And what we missed in Lesson 2, Shirley's shocked expression, we get on this lesson. And that makes things quite a bit more difficult because the score for passing is pretty high. You want to get as many points as you can on all three of these. Even if you, say, get the bonus on the rocket belt, and the rocket belt's pretty easy, but even if you get the bonus on that, it can be quite hard to pass the rest of them. Now, if you watched my bonus video, you saw these little circles, and in the rocket belt episodes, you can sort of jump off them humorously. I have to find that other ring that I was actually going for. Here we are. And you actually don't lose points for landing early on those things. Now if I land, say, on oh, the grass, like right here, I incur a two-point penalty. But those little bouncy circles will give you some air without any penalty. And as in the skydiving, the platform worth the most points is the 70. Now again, make sure that you land on the green part. I'm getting a little bit better at landing with the rocket belt, so hopefully this won't take me forever adjusting and making sure I have the right position. There we are, 98 points. We won't see Shirley shocked, but we will see her, well, surprised at least. You won't, but you won't judge by appearance. Am I an ugly hero? I hate it when that happens. Come on, Shirley. The instruction manual actually says that she tends to flirt with her male students. Strictly business when it comes to points, but I am sorry to disappoint you, Shirley. I did rescue you, Shirley. You could be nicer. You don't get so much as a thank you from any of the pilots, uh, any of the pilot instructors. And here you do have to avoid scraping the ground. This is a rather tricky if you're not good with the light plane. And I like going towards the right runway here because it is well the wind does sort of suggest the right runway and I don't care too much for accuracy here this should be fine and you'll notice how long it actually takes the airplane to fully stop here I made it most of the way down the runway even though I landed on it almost as soon as I could alright nothing special but enough to pass and with this lesson and the next ones coming up um, you'll need to fly pretty much I won't say perfectly but very consistently and very well even if you get a bonus on the easy ones like the rocket belt but anyways that earns me my b-class expert license I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time bye